Hi guys, it's Pluto. So this is the part two of my folio run through series. This is my last year's year 12 art folio. I am taking the class again, but my folio did get a very high mark. I got a 57 out of 60, which is a incredibly high mark, but my theory let me down. So I'm hoping to get better on that on this year. So let's get into it. My theme that I chose was storyteller. I relate to this one really well, like I love fairy tales, I love princesses and just the traditional stories. I'm obsessed with storytelling and gods and just stories and so here's all the frameworks, or well, the old ones, these are old frameworks, but this is how I just labelled it and I've gone through my folio and highlighted the different parts. And this is done in gold and watercolour and that's a photograph. This is Posca actually. <clears throat> so my artist that I chose because we had to choose two artists my contemporary artist was Tim Burton and so this is Beetlejuice and just a list of his works the Nightmare Before Christmas this is a list of ideas that I wanted to do and this girl, this girl's pretty cool, I love her and it just looks really cool with the white and the black Just ideas. This is another artist who I absolutely love. Her name's Lol. These are just pictures that I've taken from the internet as well. This is the plan for my final piece. It kind of all just got stuck in. It was very random, but like I didn't show the progression really well, but it's in here. So that's what that's it, that is. This is a um Kind of inspired by LOL but then also inspired by Tim Burton because it's really dark and pretty cool and it also kind of reminds me of the Grimm's Brothers stories. This is my other artist Herbert Smalls. Um, this is pretty cool. I love interaction so this is just a list of artists and what they do just to kind of help me out. This is a magazine image that I took and then some spray painting samples some girl that I drew in charcoal this is my experimentation of medias which um, mediums which they encourage you to do so this is charcoal grey lead oil pastel Posca ink and fine liner I believe more Tim Burton stuff so this one and this one and this one are my original characters that I came up with from it. And these are all taken from the internet. Um, this is my little goblin and I went through and I watercolored him like a proper Tim Burton image. And I really like my goblin. He's one of the favorite things that I've done. This is a Harry Potter inspired goblin as well. If you want to focus, that would be great. Focus. But yeah, he's pretty cool. <clears throat> this is when I got into lino cutting and this is actually one of the first lino cuts that I did. So this is a princess and she's going down the two paths. It's an analysis. This was inspired by a movie called Martyrs. It's kind of a horror story but I really liked it so face shapes. These are all taken from just people that I found on the internet. That one is Kendall Jenner, obviously. <laughs> um, liner prints. I actually made this. It took me forever and then I printed it on different mediums. So the mesh and then some coloured papers, some wallpapers, fabrics, bubble wrap, silk and then wallpapers. It's pretty cool. Mm, anime. And Walt Disney. Melanie Martinez was one of my favorite singers, musicians at that time. See, so yeah, her storybook is in that. Um, this is my final piece. So this was my Unit Three final piece last year, and it was this massive canvas. I still have it, but I really don't like it. It's a close-up of her face. But um. Yeah, and that's just all analysis. 
but I really didn't like my final piece, I wasn't happy. It was textured in the green bit, but it just didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. So, and then I moved on to religious kind of imagery. I'm not religious, but I really love the stories that they have connected to the saints and all those kind of things. So I have all the different saints that I've drawn in here. This is Saint Rita of Cassica, Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Kateri of Tekawathi, Joan of Arc, Saint Maria Goretti, Saint Bridget, Saint Agnes, Saint Cecilia and Saint Philomena. She's my favorite. <clears throat> More Saint Philomena stuff. This was my plan for another final piece that didn't actually end up happening. I might explore that later this year. <clears throat> Magazine cuttings. This was a this was the first oil painting that I've ever done. Where I'm from, oil painting is really not a thing. So I kind of found this bucket of old paint underneath one of the cupboards in my art room at school and I started using it so this is what came out of it. I actually have that, it's up here. It's up here. There it is. Hello. And it's just this angel. So yeah. And this is where I started developing my story. So I have plans for a story and this is going to come out, it should come out later this year, like it should be finished. Um, inspired by Sean Dan and his take on the Grimm's Brothers Tales, The Singing Bones. And this is my little figure. This is my storyboard and I created these images using ink and then um, something called masking fluid which you put down in splatters, you can use a toothbrush and you just flick it on and then you let it dry, you do your ink over it and then you rub it off and it leaves these white spots that look like a galaxy. So yeah. Drawing some books. I think everyone kind of goes through this phase. They're inspired by, is it Jova? Louis Jova? And Piccolo Gun is one of my favourite artists, so <laughs> all that's in there. This is my idea, and then my replication, or like my attempted replication. So, there's that one. Piccolo Khan. This is kind of my own style. And then that's Tim Burton. That's really scary. Whoops. <laughs> it's just how I was feeling. <clears throat> so, this was just before my 17th birthday <laughs> and how I was feeling as well. It's me and some of my friends, one of my friends and then just little sketches. I think that was shortly after I had my hair dyed as well. <clears throat> I don't really know how to explain that. Mark Ryden, who's one of my favourite artists. And then I kind of tried replicating his style. You can tell that I progressed from the year before. So I was really happy. This is a lino cut. This is one of my favorites. I still have that. This is the dot painting that I started of Cara Delevingne. <clears throat> Some lino printings on alternative things. This is brown paper and then this is a city map. This is just a drawing. I think I just used this to fill up space. This is done in grey lead. And then the gold bits are done in Posca. <clears throat> Mood boards. I think that's an image that I copied. It says, are you insane like me? Um, so the two images that I studied from my two artists was Corpse Bride by... <clears throat> Tim Burton and then Too Late by Herbert Smalls and so these are just my little interpretations of the character Emily from Corpse Ride. Just some Victor pictures. These are pictures that I found of interpretations of Emily when she was alive. Just a little sketch that I did. 
and then I did that from the little things that I got. I don't know how to, but this is, this is my interpretation of Living Emily. Boobs. Um, this is Herbert Small's image, Too Late. This is found in a gallery near where I'm from, so I really like this image. And then from there, I came up with characters that I wanted to use in my final piece. So this is Faye, and this is done in Tim Burton style. So she's just a, a corpsey looking figure, and that's a picture of her alive, normal style. So she's supposed to be this woman, the dead woman from Herbert Small's image, and I really like her. And then here's Conan, and Conan is done in Tim Burton style here, and then normal style there, and he's supposed to be the husband from Herbert Small's image. <clears throat> Some reference pictures, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then here's my plan for my final piece. <clears throat> And my progression. So here's where I started painting it. I painted it really large scale and I was pretty happy with this when it was finished. This is, hang on, I think I have a picture of it later. This is it finished. I was fairly happy. I was really happy with her but not so much with Conan. So yeah, it wasn't bad. And then <clears throat> some analysis is this is a really pale sketch, but this is a sketch of something that I'm going to be working on later in this year with the skies in her eye. Um, Cara Delevingne. And then I cut out her eyes and I put this picture behind it. And same with these ones. And I think that's all. So that's all for this one. Um, thanks for watching. And I'll be sure to take you through my folio again soon. Um, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.